What's up guys here with a new video and we have a big question for everyone that is in this situation. Should I give up the slide 2080 Ti for the new top end RTX, probably 3080 Ti uh, or not? Is it worth it when it comes down to performance? What about power consumption and price versus performance for the new let's say 3080 Ti now? Is PCI 4.0 uh, relevant in this equation? How about the power supply? What else will you have to upgrade to really benefit from this uh, upgrade? And is it really worth it? And how else to take the decision if not by looking at what, uh, what you might be leaving behind? And here we have few benchmarks of some of the most demanding games out there. All tested in 4K, all ultra, no overclock on either the CPU or GPU. So we, you can, you could squeeze more performance from what you see uh, on top. Uh, we all know that Sly comes with a uh, few, let's call them complaints. Ma main one would be that not all games support Sly, and you can't take advantage of the two GPU system. The other was the was the that combined the power drop can go well over 550 watts especially if you are overclocking them this will be relevant uh, while we take this discussion further but i don't want to get into it now so consumption and the number of uh, the power draw and the number of games that actually are slay, uh, slay capable are the main two complaints about uh, this kind of setup Regarding to power draw, it is what it is. Uh, and let's be honest: if you paid two thousand uh, pounds or um, dollars or more uh, for this kind of cards, I think you have the money to pay the the power bill as well. Now, about the number of games uh, Sly compatible, there is a long discussion. We had big titles from, let's say, starting with Witcher 3 uh, till Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Jedi Fallen Order, Mass Effect Andromeda, um, Mankind Divided, Project Cars, Metal Gear 5, and so many others that are working perfectly fine. All it takes is a little bit more engagement uh, on behalf of the developers. If uh, this will happen or not, Time will tell, but when the magic is on, it's hard to believe that even 3080 Ti can give you this kind of performance. And now let's talk a little bit about the new NVIDIA lineup. I don't want to repeat the same, uh, uh, the other people's rumors. You all heard them, you all know them. But let's set fund a foundation here. It's obvious that the power draw will be around 300 watts. It's hard to believe that the top end will be under, let's say, $1,400. All this for a performance boost up to 40-50% if we are to believe Nvidia, Bashui. At least for this reason, you should wait and see the numbers because what are you giving up uh, at the end is your slight connection with real performance uh, of the kind that you see in these benchmarks here so will the new high and 3000 series deliver close to this this is the question or maybe we will see a 15-20% improvement but for a premium price related to the PCI 4.0 and its uh, relevancy in this equation benchmarks shows that in gaming the differences are irrelevant it's becoming more relevant when hardcore video editing comes to play but not even there, the performance boost is not that significantly big to force you into a 
mod uh, motherboard uh, upgrade so related to power drop uh, most of us with a slide 2080 Ti already have a supply of at least 800 watts but if you are planning to overclock this uh, monster of 300 plus watts you have to be ready with uh, let's say I don't want to you know to to say some stupid things but I think you should have a 1000 watts uh, supply um, and this might become a must especially if you have a powerful uh, CPU and I know most of you have so 1000 watts power supply is becoming a must the power equation is important because if you are pushing the overclock almost as much um, so if you are pushing in overclock almost as much pow uh, power as you do in a slide rig then your expectation uh, your uh, expected performance should be close to what you see here and this is the core of this video and to all of this puzzle is 3080 Ti capable of this or something close to this now the logical step would be to wait and see the real numbers do the math and draw conclusions uh, in the uh, on the other hand the prices of 2080 ti's will drop more regardless of those numbers the thing is you can end up giving up raw performance selling one of your GPUs or both for a fraction of what uh, what you paid for them and end up with a hungry monster that is not capable of the things advertised by Nvidia in any case I'm waiting to see the numbers because those are the real thing not rumors or bombastic advertised ads and I will advise you to do the same and why not make yourself a um, xmos present uh, if it's really worth it anyways thank you for watching and let me know what you think or how you will tackle these issues take care stay safe see you in the next one